Hello again, everyone. Um, I just bought a couple of hummingbird dies. It's a set from Global Land. So I was having a little play to see how I could colour them. And uh, not quite sure what to display them, how to display them, whatever. And I did wonder about just having like a bird like that with a a bunch of threads across for him to be sort of hovering over or standing on or whatever. So uh, this is, a, I think this was f f cheap from the works or somewhere in a pack of about five, but they're very, it's quite flimsy. So I'll just see how we get on. I'll wrap some around this, this card um, panel and just kind of see what it looks like. It's going to have to be fairly low down, I would think. So I'll just, I'll just go around and around and just see. It's, it looks a bit hairy, actually, but we'll, we'll see how we go. I don't know how many I will need to make it look like kind of something. Um, I looked on the internet to see the colours for hummingbirds. They're not native to this country. So, you know, we're not used to seeing them very often. And so I looked to see, and a lot of them seem very dark with kind of sheen over them. So let's just stop that there for now. I can always add more if I think I need it later. Okay. I'm thinking this card might do for a chap. That's that's what's kind of in the back of my mind, really. So there's our band. And then a little sentiment kind of there. Looks like it needs something gold on it. I'd, I'm going to start with black today. I, I, I was playing around with uh, different colours. I've been colouring it with luscious powders these are luscious powders so i thought if i start this is starting with white but i put a layer of black on before i started playing around with the other colors because what i was after is that sort of iridescent sheen that you get some birds get on their feathers so that is the set um they were all joined together but i've obviously had to cut this one twice because this is the wings and birds have two wings so here we have his body. These are little bits that t that go onto his body, kind of like this, a bit extras. And these are little bits that go onto the wings. And this is the tail. So that's kind of how it goes. And so it goes, sounds like Billy Joel, doesn't it? Love that song. Right, there, there's our kind of hummingbird. So what I want to do is add a bit of colour to him um, with luscious powders. Um, let me get this out of the way because I don't want to get that messed up. We'll see about that presently. So I've got a palette here and all I do to, to add the colour to die cuts or anything else for that matter, if I'm going to use it as a paint, is I spritz a little, I'm sorry for the mess, it's a bit messy. I spritz a little um, water into one of these little pans and then add the luscious powder and mix it up together. So let's get a brush. I had a nice one this earlier on. Let's have... Yeah, I think we'll have this one. This is a... A set from Nouveau. They've done me really quite well, actually. Just get some paper towel. Handy. There we go. Right. Um, I thought we would try a bit of green. This is green. This was made some time ago, but to reconstitute it, all I need to do is either use my brush with some water on it or give another little spritz of water from my water bottle either is fine so let's just try let's try a wing 
I'm going to hold it with a pair of tweezers and I'm just going to kind of flick it up from the tips of the feathers, from the tips of the wings. Isn't it pretty? Of course, luscious powders react differently on different colour bases. Some of them, not all, some of them are... Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at the different colours in that. Oh, my word. Do the other one the same. That is lovely. Just flick. As I say, it was quite handy to have a picture. Can you see the varying colours of green in there? Some is goldy and some is not. <laughs> now, these are the bits that go on the top of the wings. That's the right side. That, that, I, don't, I don't know if you can actually see it, but there is some embossing into the the die cut, which gives it, you know, a lovely, lovely effect. Um, why don't I try a little bit of green first and then put a bit of, I don't know, purple or something on it. I noticed one of them was a blue, a blue throated something or other, a hummingbird that I looked up on the internet. And um, let's put a bit of, let's put a bit of this blue onto it. I've got purple there as well to try and see what we could do. Let's just flick this up from the bottom of the... Ah, it's not quite thick enough yet. I haven't got quite enough pigment to the amount of, the amount of water. So, there we go. That's better. Just on the base. Do this one the same. I think I might put just a little at the bottom of here. Just flicking. It's really restful, this. Pretty. Isn't that sweet? Look at it. What fun. Oh, my word. And those bits, of course, will go over that bit there. That's the one I was trying earlier. Let's move that out of the way. Now, I think the tail needs to be very similar to the wings. So let's... I don't know if it does, it does or it doesn't really, but I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I've got my blushes there in case I need to add more pigment to these little pans. But this is just reconstituting what I've used in the past. Okay, let's do this one. Um, not sure what to do with the body actually, whether to do it similarly or a bit differently. I don't really need to go over those bits too much because that's going to be covered by these two extra bits there. And that one has got the indentation for the eye in it. Okay, let's do all of this with the green while I've got the green on my, on my brush. There we go. Right, now I'm going to put a little blue onto the bottom of the tail. Some of, was it this one I used? I think it was. Bit of a messy palette, but never mind. Oh, look. This is just regular black card that I cut this from. Isn't that pretty? Look at it. 
and being water-based it's going to mingle quite nicely um these two pieces perhaps i'll try a little bit of the the turquoise on that and see how see what that one looks like oh perhaps i'll try the purple let's do some purple oh i've got some purple there needs to be reconstituted it's a bit let's try some of this let's get some of my brush okay Um, this, is, this has got an all over pattern of, of feathers on. I think it dries fairly quickly. I'm going to leave it at that actually. The blue throated. This one should be the blue one there, shouldn't it? Okay. Let me just stick some of these together. Let's just see. Get my glue. I suggested to um, Anne in New York State to ask her husband if he could make a stand to keep glue bottles this way up so that the glue is down by the nibs, Do you know, and within a day, He'd made a prototype. He's absolutely amazing. So I'd be interested to see how they all finish up. Dale and his 3D printer. It's pretty, isn't it? Not quite sure exactly where this goes. I think there probably was a mark, which is now underneath my paint. I'll just tell that a moment. They are so pretty, aren't they? Look at them. There we go. Now we'll stick the body bits on. There is actually somewhere another bit for the beak, which I apparently seem to have lost, but I don't necessarily think it really needs it to be honest right let's pop these on this piece has got a little indentation there for the eye so what i propose to do is to put um, a dot of white jelly roll in there and then let me just tuck this underneath I don't know where it goes but let me just tuck it under here I don't know if that's right or wrong. It's pretty though. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. So uh, I'm not quite sure exactly where the wings are supposed to go. Does that look authentic? Let's put a bit of glue on the back. Put a bit of glue on the back of this. Okay. Isn't that sweet? Here's a jelly roll. We put some white in the eye. And then when that's dry, 
I can put the pupil of the eye in. Oh, lovely. Let's see how we go. Not sure what this is going to look like on the card, mind, but put that one away a moment. Pick him up. Uh, it's not bad. It needs something. It needs something. Anyway, I will think about what I need to do to the base of this, this panel. I like the bird very much. I'm just going to put a little black on his beak. And I'm using, I know it's black, but I'm going to use black um, luscious again. This is blackbird. It'll, because it'll give it that shimmer and shine. So let me just, got some black here. Let's just get this going. That's good. I still got to wait for the, the other one, for the eye to dry before I can put the, the black pupil in there. All right. So, I'm going to think, of the, the, the focus of this really was colouring. So, um, I will think of something else. It, it does need something. It needs some printing or um, a bit of some background. So, I'm going to think about that. I will do it. I will put the card at the end of the video. Um, and hopefully, <laughs> I'll be happy with it in the end. Um a few people have said they didn't know where to find the description of videos. Beneath the video is a title and it starts to give a bit of information and there's usually something that you can click on which will open up the description and that is where you'll find any names of dyes or companies or what things I've used if I do remember. So please have a look there. Um, and at the very bottom, other people were saying to me um, they didn't know how to buy me a coffee the bottom of that description there is a link to my buy me a coffee page so thank you to all of all of you who have bought me coffee um i i really really appreciate it it's it's most most kind so i will finish the card we will find something to go on here and the sentiment probably is going to say happy birthday but i'm hoping it's going to be for a chap so as ever Thanks so much for watching.